Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to our empowerment conversation with Pastor Davis. And today's conversation, I want to spend a few minutes with you discussing a subject of great importance, and that is abusive relationships. You see, in the 21st century, there are too many abuses that are taking place in our relationships. And that is by all parties, abuse of women, abuse of children, abuse of boys and girls, abuse of men, all are taking place right under our nose, as I can use that word, and very little is being done about it. It is all done in the disguise of love. Oh, I love you. Oh, I, I, I need you. Uh, we can't leave. Uh, whatever excuse that a, a person can give to try and hold on to a another person, uh, they will uh, advance that argument. And my argument uh, statement for you today is simply this. Step up and step out. You see, we cannot allow this to continue. Why? Because our lives have value. The lives of our children have value. Remember who our creator is and remember how we were created. We were created in the image and likeness of God. We were given his character. We were created for a purpose and we we're created in his purpose. God put us in his will and we are here to be obedient to God, not to be slaves to abuse. So let us understand that our lives have value and we have to value what God has given us not what someone else wants us to do because they claim that they love us. You see, my brothers and sisters, love is very, very valuable because God loved us so much and he loves us so much each and every day that he does not want his children abused. So when we see abuse taking place, we have to learn to step up. Step up and do something about it. Step up and say something about it. I see too much of it myself. I've seen it in my counseling sessions. I've seen it in my own relationship. I've seen it in my family. So I know what it's all about. You see, an abuser is never going to admit that they are an abuser. An abuser is never going to admit that they have a problem. An abuser is never going to admit that they are an alcoholic. An abuser is never going to admit that they are a drug addict. And when an abuser is abusing another human being, they are never going to admit that they are doing such a thing. So you see, my brothers and sisters, we have to learn that we have to step up and step out. We have to step up to the plate and learn that when we see it taking place, that we have to learn to do something about it. You see, many years ago, my great-grandfather 
which was a sweet humble man when he was not drinking. But my great grandfather was a stone alcoholic and he loved to drink, but he would never admit to you or anyone else that he was an alcoholic. He would tell you, I can hold my liquor. I can drink as much as I want to and, 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 and it's not gonna bother me. But I tell you, not only was he an alcoholic, he was an abuser. He abused his family. I was one of them. I was sick, sometime being taken hostage. Not just me, but my whole family, my mother, my father, my brothers and sisters, my grandmother, my uncles. We could all be at a family gathering. My great grandfather would start drinking and get drunk. The first thing that he would do, he would go and get his shotgun and load it and hurl us all into a room. We have to sit there and he threatened to kill the whole family. And by the grace of God, I am here today talking to you, telling you what I know about abusers. Sitting in the front of a loaded gun as a kid is a very dangerous thing. And this man sitting across in the front of you is your great grandfather. And he's telling you that he loves you. And he's got his hand on the trigger, threatening to kill you. And at any moment, by accident, that gun could have gone off. But by the grace of God, God wasn't ready for us to leave. But the next day or the next couple of days when he was sober again, didn't have liquor in him, you could go to him and, and he would put his arms around you and tell you how much he loved you. But if you mention this incident, he will say, look you in the eye and say, no, no, it was not me. I did not do such of a thing. I wouldn't do such of a thing to you all. I love you too much. He would even break down crying, trying to convince you that it wasn't him that did this, same, this thing. That is the way an abuser is. And each one of you know this, that have seen it firsthand. Many of you are living with abusers right today as you listen to me. And I'm just saying to you, you got to step up and step out. This situation cannot continue. Your very life depends upon it. Learn to step up and step out because God created you with value, for value. You have a purpose in this life and you are to carry out your purpose. You got to walk out your purpose. A friend of mine and a friend of yours have a ministry that is called the secret angel. And she has a very powerful ministry. And she tells all about abusive, the abusive relationships, the abuse of children. And I encourage each one of you that listen to me today to log on to her website, simply called secretangel.com. Log on and study with her. She has a powerful ministry with some very powerful testimony. So I thank you 
my brothers and sisters, for allowing me to enter into your hearts and into your space this day. And until we meet again in another empowerment conversation, may God bless you greatly and keep you ever so close. And remember, step up and step out. This is Pastor Davis. See you in the next session.